61A, lecture number 35, announcements. The scheme project is due on Tuesday. You can get an early submission bonus point for completing it by Monday. If you want the early submission bonus point and the extra credit for solving the let to lambda problem, do it all by Monday. Homework 9 is due the Thursday after Thanksgiving. It's posted already, but you could ignore it until next week. That would be fine. Lab 13, which would normally be due this Tuesday, is optional. Everybody will get credit for that lab, whether you touch it or you don't. But I recommend that you do the lab because it's good preparation for the final exam. We normally have five lab orientations, but we've reduced that down to two. Since this is optional, I suspect that attendance will be a little bit lower. We will, of course, post the lab orientation recordings if that time is inconvenient so that you can take a look at those. This Wednesday through Friday, there will be nothing associated with the class, no lecture, no discussion, no tutorials, no office hours. And the only other thing going on is the completely optional Scheme Recursive Art Contest, which has entries due the Monday after Thanksgiving. You will find an assignment for the Scheme Contest that describes the rules and how to submit. So I hope you have a great Thanksgiving. Today's lecture is optional. You should really watch it. That's one of my favorite topics in the course called Tail Calls, which is Scheme's answer to the while loop. How come there's no while statement in Scheme? Well, you could use recursion, but isn't recursion slow and take up a lot of memory? Well, not necessarily. Here's a topic about programming languages and how they're interpreted that deals with exactly that problem. Throughout the lecture, you might hear reference to extra credit because in a typical semester, re-engineering your interpreter so that it performs tail call optimization is an extra credit problem. And the let to lambda problem is typically a required problem, but now we've made it extra credit and removed the tail call problem it's still there, optionally. You can work on it if you want. In fact, it's kind of fun to work out how you would add that to the interpreter that you have. It requires you to understand the whole structure of the program you've written in Project 4. Or if you don't want to do that, you could just listen to this lecture, and then you'll know all about what people mean when they say tail recursion or tail calls. And if one of the lecture videos says something about extra credit and you're wondering whether you could get extra credit for doing that this semester, the answer is no. But I did not re-record all the videos because the content is the same. All right, let's dive in.